My name is Maggie. I am 30 years of age. I live on my own, and I work as a secretary at a local newspaper. When I am not working, I love visiting the local shopping center. On one such visit, I was about to leave the store with my shopping when this awful feeling of dread came over me. I felt as if I was going to pass out. I dropped my shopping bags, and fortunately, a security officer rushed over and sat me down on a couch. I was holding my chest, for it felt like I was having a heart attack. The next thing I knew, I was being rushed to hospital in an ambulance. At the A&E department, the doctors gave me a thorough examination. Thankfully they said my heart was okay, and nothing showed up on any of the tests. The doctor said he felt I had experienced a significant panic attack. He advised that I should start making changes in my life to reduce the anxiety I was experiencing. Although I was glad all the tests came back negative, I still felt confused. Where do I start to change? I knew I worried too much. Work was a significant stressor, as there was always so much going on. Most days, I would crash on a chair when I got home. I was so exhausted. Thankfully a close friend of mine recommended a therapist and made an appointment for me. It was a big step to make, but I just knew I needed a helping hand. For the first time, I was able to share my worries and concerns in a safe environment. The therapist didn't judge, she understood and listened to me. I said I couldn't help worrying about everything. I worried that I might be ill. I worried about losing my job that I wasn't good enough. There wasn't much I didn't worry about. I feared I was losing control. The therapist explained that because I worried about so much, no wonder my levels of anxiety were high. The trick was, is to discern what needed my attention compared to what didn't. In other words, I had to separate what is true and what is false. To differentiate between what is true compared to what is false, you have first to ask yourself one question. Where is the evidence to say what I am thinking is true? The important thing here is that the evidence has to be facts. For instance, if you are worried about your health and then receive an all-clear report from the hospital, this result is clear evidence that you shouldn't worry. It's factual. So in future, if you are worried about something and you have evidence that it's not true, you throw out the false statement and replace it with an alternative view, such as, isn't it great that I got a recent checkup from the hospital to say I have a clean bill of health? What you are doing now you are differentiating between what is fact and what is fiction. Too soon got into the habit of asking myself, where is the evidence to say what I believe is true? If there were no evidence, I would throw that worry out. By dramatically reducing my worries, I soon discovered that my panic attacks started to disappear.